Technology has changed everything. Crime and investigating crime, no exception. New tonight, TGV 11's Michael Aaron takes an in-depth look at the role each one of our smart devices plays in the fight against crime. Think back 15, maybe 20 years. Let's say someone commits a crime right here. Back then, detectives would have relied heavily on eyewitnesses and physical evidence like fingerprints. They'll tell you those things are still important, but if someone commits the same crime here today, think about the possible evidence. Detectives might be able to track the suspect's cell phone. And speaking of cell phones, someone across the street may be capturing the whole thing on theirs. Meanwhile, surveillance cameras are all around us. And with just those few examples in mind, it's easy to see why law enforcement says technology has changed the game. Digital evidence touches all of our investigations. During his 13 years as an FBI special agent, William Kennedy with the Little Rock Field Office has observed the growing emphasis on such evidence. I think about my own neighborhood and the prevalence of rain cameras and how many times something as simple as um, you know, a doorbell camera has helped local law enforcement solve crimes as well. So, you know, technology touches almost every aspect of our lives now. That also includes our computers, tablets, and smartphones. Cell phones are almost always with us. So, you know, if we can get a hold of somebody's cell phone, that's usually the treasure trove of evidence that we need. <laughs> And he says the Capitol insurrection is a recent example. And the fact that people are using their cell phones to take selfies and then they're, you know, sending those out to their family members has helped us solve and identify who some of these individuals were. It's been three and a half years since 25 people were shot during a rap concert at the Power Ultra Lounge in downtown Little Rock, the largest mass shooting in the city's history. That was one where our detectives really had to go through and comb through phone evidence, you know, uh, surveillance evidence, and really the technology ended up linking other people to that crime we were able to identify that was either there or involved with it. And Sergeant Eric Barnes says videos posted publicly on social media were also critical. While there are plenty of examples showing how digital evidence helps solve crimes, could it actually be preventing them in the first place? Maybe uh, technology is creating a deterrent effect. Dr. Edward Powers is chair of the Sociology, Criminology, and Anthropology Department at the University of Central Arkansas. He says the routine activities approach suggests there's a recipe for crime with three ingredients. Motivated offenders, suitable targets, and perceived absence of a capable guardian, or the idea you can go undetected. Technology, to some extent, has become uh, a capable guardian. It might not be able to stop a crime from taking place, but it does increase the probability that offenders are going to be caught and punished. Which he says could be helping reduce street crime. Let's use robbery as an example. This graph shows robberies in Arkansas between the year 2000 and 2019. The iPhone was released in 2007 and a downward trend followed. And there, there are a lot of factors. But Dr. Powers believes the prevalence of smart devices, security cameras and the shift from cash to card have played at least some role in the decline. But as the world evolves, so do criminals targeting their victims online. You're probably not as likely to get uh, to be walking down a street in Little Rock and get robbed. But you might be more likely now to be robbed by somebody in another country. And regardless of the crime, Kennedy says he and his colleagues are ready. Whether you're using a phone or a computer or whether you throw those things away, right? We still have a job to do and we're very good at collecting evidence of all sorts. Michael Aaron, THV 11 News. Under the Fourth Amendment, police must have probable cause and a search warrant to search and seize evidence, including your devices. Even with a warrant, Kennedy says there's often a big obstacle, data encryption. Michael takes a closer look at that tomorrow morning on Wake Up Central.